So we are on our way now to Prima Cachu. We were there for Laos's birthday and we were a little bit in, in a hurry this time, but we come back because we got so much feedback from you guys that you would like to learn more. And today we can talk to one of the owners. So actually maybe two even, we don't know. So let's go there. So what did you get today? Today I've ordered another bowl with tofu. So you have marinated tofu here. You have a quinoa. You have cabbage, avocado, fresh cucumber. Also that is for sushi. How do you call this thing? I forgot this name. Salad and a little bit of yogurt, I think, instead of mayonnaise. It is looking so beautiful. Look at this, this is all co low carb, complex carbohydrates. Vegetarian meal. I think it's vegetarian, isn't it? So apparently so gonna, you need to mix it somehow, right? I like, don't know. I'm just gonna try first separate all ingredients separately and then I will mix it and see how it tastes. much Katet for taking time to speak about uh, this beautiful place and we were so inspired to to come again and share your story or just even how you come to this beautiful making this beautiful place because I'm very passionate about health and eating is something I know food can make a huge difference in our health can literally change our life, I believe. And I'm, I studied a lot about nutrition and everything. And when I came here, and I was looking at the menu and I'm in my mind always thinking about the balance of food, that I have a bit of fats, that I have a bit of uh, proteins and carbohydrates, but not too starchy, mm -hmm. more complex carbohydrates, which fill me up, but won't make me feel tired. And when I saw this, it just blew my mind. And I was like, this is perfect meal. I would eat every single day. <laughs> so, and we came here for the birthday last, last weekend. And we thought we'll come back again and share your story. And it's so fascinating. If you can share a little bit, how did you come up with the, doing this, um, this place mm -hmm. and your health? journey <laughs> okay so um, I was um, I was at home for a couple of years and I decided not to work for some time so I went home <clears throat> but I was a bit tired of being at home and uh, and suddenly I had to for healthy uh, reasons I had to change my the way I, I cook my food and the, the kind of food that, that I was eating. So I was, you know, I, I've always, I was not always a big fan of healthy food, but I had to change it. So I started um, looking at, at the, on the web for new recipes, changing a little bit what I used to eat. And suddenly I came up with some pretty nice uh, recipes. So I, um, I started cooking them at home for my husband and then I called my two cousins they are my partners in this project mm -hmm. and you know they were trying everything that I was doing and suddenly I thought why not do this for other people I'm not a cook I'm, I don't cook very well so I was doing it just for myself and my family 
and and then you know I talked to them and I said why not open a restaurant with a different concept mm -hmm. there were some restaurants some healthy restaurants here but they were more uh, vegetarian or more vegan mm -hmm. and so what our idea was really to to create a project of healthy food but a little bit um, not 100% vegan, 100% vegetarian, but healthy food and prove that healthy food can be very delicious. delicious. So we started working on the project, the three of us, so they accepted my challenge to come with me, my two cousins. Uh, two of us really work here, the other one is just our partner. and. Um, so we decided to work on the project so from zero from scratch so we designed everything what kind of food we wanted uh, how do we want the restaurant the name the brand mm -hmm. everything so we had a, an agency in Lisbon she's a, a very good friend of mine so she started working with us on the image side and uh, the communication of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the brand mm -hmm. that we wanted to create. And then we found our chef, Emma. It's a woman mm -hmm. and we explained her what we wanted to do. So we told her, okay, we want a healthy restaurant with healthy food and we want to prove to everyone that healthy food can be really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. And you know, and she she did it the perfect thing. Yeah. So she understood the concept. She understood what we wanted, and she transformed our idea into a menu, mm. the one that I have tried. Yes. So it was it was a bit of a challenge because we didn't know very much how people would you know take it. Take it. We, we knew that it was new because nobody. There was no restaurant like ours here in Madeira. They were different, and it's good. Um, so we decided to open it. So we created the name, we created everything, and then Emma uh, managed to came up with a pretty good menu that we are always trying to change a little bit. And actually, people loved it. Lucky for us. <laughs> because uh, yeah and it's 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 you know when we decided to open this we wanted this to be you know a friendly place where people feel at home we are very informal with the, with our customers we we like to welcome them we like to talk to them we like to stay with them so they feel at home really here and it's good for us so it became um, a place that the locals come on a regular basis. We have clients that come here for every day for lunch. Yeah. We have clients that come here for, I don't know, twice a week. So we It's have- quite affordable what we It is. As well. That we was our strategy as well. Because we could, we could have a higher prices, yes. but then people wouldn't be able to come here Locals. on a regular basis for lunch. Yeah. People have lunch, most of them uh, outside because yeah. they are working in the center, yeah. so they cannot go home, most of them. So if they, ha if they have a place where they trust the food, the products, where they like to stay, and it's affordable, yeah. then they would definitely come. It is more likely to stay on a healthy path when it's also a little bit affordable, because yeah. there's a big, with that, um, something in a way to mm -hmm. become healthy, because it costs a lot. Yeah, it sometimes. is. Sometimes. Yeah. It, it is, yeah, it can be, and we are very, very careful with our products because healthy food needs uh, good products. Otherwise, you can feel it in, in the flavors. So we do, we do, we do. Um, we are very, very careful with the products that we choose, with our, uh, uh, with the people we work with. So we trust them. We trust the food that they give us. Where do you get your products from? Is it it's local. It's local uh, producers, most of them, or local companies, and we have a very good relationship with them. So mm -hmm. it's it's uh, and it's something that is is growing and growing because we opened the restaurant on nine, 19th December two thousand nineteen. Okay. 
and then suddenly three months after we had to close our doors so it was really really tough uh, it was really tough and we managed to keep all Open. our no 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 we closed for three months okay and then we reopened we reopened on june the first last year but we managed to keep all the team and it was really hard, but we managed to do that because we call it the family, Prima Kaju family, mm -hmm. because we are really a family and we work together in order to make everybody happy. And it's just incredible for us when people say what you just said about our restaurant, when they write about it, when they, you know, when they are happy and with a smile on their faces saying, mm, this is so good. So for us, this is the best. This is is the best and it's really our baby really so either Sara or I we are always here if not the two of us at least one of us is always here mm -hmm. so it's it's important for us that we are here to welcome our clients to talk to them sometimes we are a bit busy so we don't have time which is sad for us but it, most of the time we can manage to do that and uh, you know and everybody I don't know if you know what means prima? No. Prima means uh, cousin. Cousin. Oh, prima cousin. Prima means cousin. Kaju is cashew. Ah. Because this building, a long time ago, used to be a supermarket. Okay. So the locals here knew this place as the Kaju. So we decided to keep the name, either us and the hotel. We decided to keep the name because it's traditional and everybody knows it. Uh -huh. And then we thought, well, we need a strong name to add to Kashu because um, the real name is not Kashu, it's yes. Prima Kashu. So we decided, why not Prima? Prima means first, means cousin, means, uh, you know, something that um, is done with, uh, with, uh, with your heart. So, yeah, why not Prima? And we just said it, Prima Kaju, and, and it was uh, people like it, and they call Prima Kaju, and they even call us the Primes. Have you been to Primes? Primes means the cousins. <laughs> it's like a family. It's like a family. like a family. Yeah. So it's really nice. It's really nice, and but you know we didn't know what was going to happen. It was a guess. It was a hunt. I don't know. We thought, well, this might work. Why not? Let's try it. And we did try it, and so far it's working very well, and we are very get glad and you know thankful for this. This place, places like this, should stay here for a long time because we need this. It's much easier, accessible, affordable, yeah. healthy. Um, it's incredible. I'm very, very Thank happy. Thank you. Yeah. We are and, so and, happy. And tasty. And tasty. tasty. <laughs> you, you have on your business card, tasty, healthy, healthy kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. So the it's tasty talks to line. me, yeah. the healthy talks to her. Because when so, I think about healthy, I will choose things because it's healthy. And my husband is like, but it has to be tasty. If yeah. it doesn't taste well, I don't want to eat this. And it's my, always my challenge to find the recipe to cook at home something healthy but also tasty. That was our challenge. And my challenge when I started cooking it and I thought, well, this needs to be tasty, otherwise I cannot eat it. Yeah. And, and it, it did, of course, Emma is a chef, she knows how to cook and, and when, when, she, when she thought about the dishes that we were going to serve, she, everything was you know, connected, the flavors, the kind of food, and you look at the ball, as you were saying, and everything comes together and it works together. So even sometimes people want to change one ingredient for other and we always say, okay, it's not a problem. But just to let you know that it will change the flavor of the dish. the dish. But it's okay if you want to try it because you don't like buckwheat, you prefer rice or something like that. It's fine. It's okay. But everything was, you know, carefully uh, thought and decided in order to make it happen and make it a, a, a nice, tasty dish. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are tasting healthy kitchen because it's it's exactly what defines Prima Kaju. <laughs> My husband loves it. <laughs> he wants to come here every day. Yeah, just... I know that there are I, some, I was... sceptical clients, some sceptical clients that come here and they said, I'm not sure what I'm going to eat because I don't think I like this. 
And Sara, for instance, and Katya, which is the other cousin, we are two Katyas and Sara, they are very healthy and they always eat healthy food. I was the, I was the fried t uh, chicken and, and I was... And, 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 you, came like, up, and you came and, up with this idea. Yes, because I needed, my, my health needed. And they were like, are you really going to eat that? And I said, yeah, try it, see if it's good. And they liked it. And even the, when, when Emma prepared it for us to try the first time, I was looking at it and I said, hmm, not sure. <laughs> and I loved it. So, you know, I can tell the skeptical clients, try it. You are going to like it. I, I, had, the same, I had the same reaction with her bowl. Because I ate already twice, and yesterday I gave him to try, I said, please try it. And he's like, no, 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 no. And then he tried. <laughs> and he liked and it. And it was amazing. It is, it is amazing. That's why, uh, you know, there, there are some clients that are really okay. I came here because my wife told me to or it's whatever. Yes, yeah, it's, it's always the same. And I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to like, help me out. And I, said, and I said, okay, try this one or that one. And especially if you are skeptical, if you mix everything in a bowl, you like healthy food. So yes. if you eat one of each, it will taste too good. Yeah. But if you are not, then if you mix the flavors, it would, it's totally different. Uh -huh. It's because it, it was all, you know, thought with very detailed in the, everything comes together for a reason mm -hmm. in that, in that dish. And that's what makes it so special, I think. You see? And then, of course, <laughs> we tried, that was our decision, you know, I love restaurants, I go to restaurants all the time. And we, we thought that we had to have a restaurant that was our image. Mm -hmm. So I'm very informal, I love to talk to people, I love to, you know, be with people. Sara is the same, she worked in fashion for a long time, so she's used to talking to people. So we wanted something really familiar and informal, not the typical formal restaurant. Cozy. So we are very cozy and we call our customers Primus because it's all a big family, so they are all part of this restaurant. And for us, that's the, what matters the most. And people that work with us, they have the same spirit. They have to have the same spirit. <laughs> so it's and it's uh, it's been working well so far. So hopefully, because when we came here for the first time, I don't know why. I mean, we were eating breakfast, and I felt like you said, I feel like I'm at home. And I could not understand why I feel at home. It's I'm in Madeira. Of course, now Madeira, we live in Madeira already for nine months. So oh, we, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Yeah, soon we're very attached to the island already. So, but when we entered in, I felt like at home because we, we came from London. Mm -hmm. We used to live there for 12 years. And we live in the east part of London. And there are many restaurants similar to that. Yeah. Which is like, there's a homey, cozy feeling. And I just remember I came and I was like, I just want to sit here, can we stay a bit longer? But of course we needed to rush and I was like, we will come, come back again. So I felt this feeling at home. Yeah, definitely. And that's, that's something that we, when we worked with the designer that designed this, Nini Andrad Silva, she's, she's from here. She's a Madeiran, a very well-known Madeiran. And that's what we explained to her. We went to a restaurant that is cozy, that is informal, that is familiar. And we don't want people to look inside and say, hmm, this is probably very, you know, very expensive. I, I, I'm not coming in. No, uh -huh. we want people to come, to come in and to try it and to see it. And, you know, people love it. And sometimes they just go in to take pictures because yeah, they like it. And she, exactly as Emma did with the dishes, Nini, um, understood completely what we wanted mm -hmm. for, for this restaurant. Mm -hmm. And she came up with this, you know, decoration that is beautiful, simple, but beautiful. And, you know, all the ceiling, all we wanted a lot of green because we live in Madeira, so we wanted, you know, green and fresh green and, you know, I think we, you know, we gathered with the perfect people that help us, um, you know, build this, and we are very proud of it, very happy with it. 
<laughs> you can be proud. You That's an amazing place. <laughs> yeah, we are. Are you, are you all from Madeira? No. Yeah, we're... Well, my two partners, Sara and Katia, they are from here, and they are direct cousins. Mm -hmm. So they are daughters of, of, of brothers. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm uh, from Lisbon, so they they are cousins of my husband. <laughs> So okay, I so met some, I met them when I arrived here in Madeira 17 years ago, and yeah, they are my best friends, my cousins already, and they're I'm part of their family. So, yeah. <laughs> and it was really good. <laughs> it was a good connection, and I think uh, yeah, it's been a year and so, and it's been working very well, and uh, we are very happy with this partnership and. It's, it's well. It's a lot of work. It is, and today is a Sunday. I have three daughters, and I'm here. She has two, and she's here because we have to work, and we have to be here, and we have to take care of our baby as well. So. It's also like a baby, isn't it? It is our baby. Very, uh, our just tiny born, baby. <laughs> just born recently. It's true. <laughs> but it's it's really nice, and we love it. So we are very what are you very proud. Most proud about. You know, we are proud. We are mostly proud of what we accomplished with the place because it is exactly or even more than we thought it could be uh, the place, the, the menu, but most of it we are very proud that, you know, that our gut feeling was correct, that was good and that people like it. Because you know you're always afraid when you do something new, yes. something that does does not exist. Yeah. It's easier when not copy, but when you do something that is already similar more, to something similar, else. Yeah. It's you know it's safer, yeah. and so we, it was quite a challenge, and we didn't know if it was going to work. And we are very proud that uh, we took the right decision, mm. at least so far. <laughs> At least looks, so far, looks all because, right to me. Yeah, you never know, and things you know change, and I don't know. But you will change with it. Whatever needs yeah, to change. Yeah, I think so. We are very flexible. Yeah, we are, and of course we are, we will not change Prima Kaju to a fast food restaurant ever. But we are very. Maybe flexible. you will find healthy fried chicken um, a recipe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you never know, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. No. It's gonna be hard, but uh, yeah, but no, we are always changing, and, and we like to, you know, we we have this menu since June. We are now working on new Depressing stuff, it. yeah, and uh, so soon we have, and I think it's important. You, you always have to, you know, renew your menu and you know try new products and try new things because especially the people that come here very very often you know they they will be glad to have something new to try so yeah i think it's 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 quite a challenge it's quite and it's even more when you try to you know keep keep um, presenting new things but we will do that but it's beautiful what you said that you had an idea and you you went in for it without validation right yeah so you didn't know if it would work no, we and didn't know. and you actually did it because that's very inspiring as well right yeah. like it lots is. of lots of people they have ideas and dreams and they don't know if it's right or not if it will work or not and the only way to really find out is it's in true. doing it right it's so true it's and beautiful to see this as an example and we were, we well. were very nervous and we didn't know, are we doing the right thing? But, you know, there was always something, at least inside of me, saying, go for it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Of course, we didn't know if the restaurant was going to be full or not. We were, we were always um, making jokes about it. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's working. It's, it's working and we think we, we have a very good feedback from people. Um, so it's, we are very happy. No, we are very happy. We are very happy we found you. <laughs> now we have a fa another favorite. Took place us just to nine months to nine find months such a place. <laughs> we arrived last year in July. So yeah, and we I reopened in June. June. Oh, in June. Yeah. You see. And you were so close. 
because she always goes shopping to this uh, Biologos. Biologos yeah, around the corner. Yeah, it's right here. We buy stuff there as well. As well. Yeah. Yeah, Oshas, any questions you come up? Not really. Like I, I, I'm so glad to hear this <laughs> inspiring part of of going for it. I'm very happy that you have so tasty food because that is good for me. <laughs> I can eat healthy and tasty. And yeah, you obviously, you found your place. And you feel good after it. I feel good. You feel good. I, I had this uh, the the first time when we came here. I had this brunch. Yeah. Which is like three parts. And, and it's quite a brunch. <laughs> it, it's a it's. It's a lot, <laughs> and I, I felt really good afterwards. I didn't feel like I ate a lot. Yeah, and it was just it. super, super tasty, every single bit of it. I um, recognize that every ingredient has its own, like there's so much nutrition in this ingredient. And this is like everything has nutritional value. It's not there just for fun, it has some no, thinking yeah. behind yeah, 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 yeah. She she does that. She she thinks about every single detail when she's you know working on a specific dish or even the dish of the day. Is she, she she thinks about it and of course we discuss together. It's a, it's really a woman <laughs> thing because it's three women uh, a woman chef. chef yes. and so it's uh, and most of the the kitchen it's more or less we have three men in the kitchen. But it's mostly women. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly it's women in the restaurant. Yeah. Which is another thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but is thank it? you, thank you for um, for this uh, conversation. It's good. It's so thank you. It was lovely spending time in this place again and have a really great conversation with uh, Katya, I think. Katya. Katya. Yes. Yeah. And learn more about you know how it is like generally to have um, business in a really sustainable way i think and i was just fascinated yeah there was a, we had a little chat after the recording where she shared a little bit more about the the business parts of it and how she got into that and what she did before and it, it was just fascinating for me this you know the three women going for it having a dream and not knowing if that will work out and realizing that and it is just such a beautiful project yeah. and, and also to do business in a way that you have a family as well you yeah they have kids so she has three kids and i think the other cousin has two kids yeah. so they have also a family and to run this business so they they decided from the very beginning that this will be a breakfast, a breakfast, uh, brunch, lunch, and afternoon. coffee, tea, yeah. afternoon, but no dinner, so that they also have time for their family. So I think it's so beautiful. important is to balance business and uh, family life together. I know it's not easy, but there is um, probably the way to find a balance, isn't it? Because yeah, the... there are either one side or another side, and it's lovely to see inspiring women um, to do that having family and having business as well and uh, i mean you you heard that from from katya that she had this like she was focused on food that is tasty maybe not that healthy and she converted that into this new project which combines tasty and healthy yeah. which kind of spoke to both of us i am the taste i, I look for tasty <laughs> things but also looks for healthy things and like i could feel that you know like there's lots of in common uh like what i look in by, with food and what you look and they combined it so beautifully so if you haven't been here yet give that place a try we'll put all the information in the description below if you have questions, just write us a comment and we can find out for you if you want to know anything more. Yeah. And yeah. Very, very happy and satisfied. We are super, super happy that we got this chance to talk to this to this lady. And uh, yeah, it's very inspiring. I, I love businesses. And like this was a very, very uh, amazing example of having a dream, going for it and building something that is, yeah. Uh, hopefully sustainable yeah. no it looks it looks very it's sustainable, looks sustainable yeah. it looks very sustainable and it's not just healthy food i think there's lots of healthy 
mindset, uh, mindset and healthy the, the whole business behind mm -hmm. has a very healthy mindset and I really love that and I think Katya is from Lisbon and two other cousins are from Madeira yeah so it's really lovely so, so yeah that's for today hope I you hope enjoyed, you enjoyed it. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye, -bye.